Hey guys, welcome to another car boot on video. This is an in-depth tour of the brand new Mitsubishi Triton GLS. In this video, we'll give you a full kind of car, I'll show the exterior, the interior, a couple of interesting features of the car, and so on. Let's get straight into it. To the front, you got a brand new split headlight design, as you can see. So you got LED indicator LEDs at the top, and you got the your LED headlights towards the bottom portion of the headlight there, you can see. You you also can see which is very common on the new Mitsubishi, you can see the nice sort of chrome sort of Sort of bars you got towards the front there, which is very common in the new models. We go a little bit closer towards the headlight, you can see you got this really nice blacked out style finish and some more chrome as well, which I thought looks pretty nice as well. There's some additional lights there too, and you can see the sort of nice sort of silver finish there as well. You can see it got a brand new grill on the new Triton, and you can see you got the nice Mitsubishi logo sort of like embossed there, and you can see the sort of textured finish there too, looks pretty cool. And it's finished in a nice sort of glossy black finish. If I step a little back, you can see you got your forward radar sensor there, and you can see this one's actually got the surrounding cameras, which is also cool features. Four parking sensors in integrated to the front bumper as well, and you can see the bottom portion there. You can see you got a uh, protection for the under tray there too, and you can see your two hooks there if you want to tow the vehicle as well. Now. This is a great opportunity to actually compare the two models beside you because this is actually the old one, the Rice, and this is actually the new one. So you can actually see side by side difference. Quite interesting. Switch to a wide angle lens, get a better look of the front end of the Triton. And that's the old one, so in case you're wanting to know. So, fuel consumption on this one is 7.7 .7 litres per hundred kilometres I'll leave the I'll leave the uh, motion um, the fuel range and stuff like that in the motion graphics over here and you can see air urban 9.6 extra urban 6.7 and just to show you just to compare and contrast this is the previous version see the difference in fuel consumption 8.6 on that one so a little bit a little bit improved fuel economy as well you can see this one's a little more squared off as you can see See in this one compared to the previous one. While we're here, we can have a look at these wheels. A little bit hard to see in this angle. I might take a nice shot here. So you can see you got a little bit dirty, but you got this sort of nice aluminium style finish. Finish in, sorry, this aluminium grey style finish. And in terms of tyres, they are Maxxis 790 Bravo A2 tyres. You can see they're quite meaty, whereas on the previous ones, they used to come with Bridgestone. So. A little bit different. You can see you've got a lot of bigger side steps as well. You can see on these ones, and they seem to have a more texture here, so it'll be easy to get in. You can see you got your side view cam side view mirrors, which have finished this nice glossy chrome, and underneath you can see your surround view cameras as well. Quick glimpse of the interior. Interior is completely new on this one. You can see, which we'll I'll show in just a moment. Example, and you can see the side by side. So this is the the rear end on the new Triton. So it's 50 millimeters wider inside, a lot more space inside. You can see it's a little bit bigger. You can see a slight difference. You can see the tail lights are quite large. You can see these nice LED daytime running lights here, and this sort of dark finish in the tail light there. You can see. You can also see some more of that texture finish over here as well. Such a wide angle lens, so you can actually see. Let's see if we can zoom a bit further. No, it's a further zip. So you can see. A little bit easier if you want to get inside the vehicle and stuff like that. Let's jump a little bit lower. You can see you got a solid rear axle in the rear there, and you got the drum brakes in the rear, and your full size spare tire underneath here. They've also looked at they've added like a bar here too for the protection of the rear of the vehicle, which I thought was actually a nice little addition. And very common you can damage the rear. So this is the tailgate, you can see very wide and um in this one it seems to have gotten a little bit lighter to my imagination so this is actually quite strong you can see here you can see up here it's also got the um the tub lining as well so it protects the inside as well very nice and you can see you got the you got your additional hooks there too to tie down items and stuff like that and all that so you can see a lot wider a lot more deep as well you can see and you can see this is the older one there. So. 
the backup camera, chrome self finished, the braking light there. Oh, here's a better angle so I can get a better look at those wheels we were talking about earlier. So, very nice looking. Drum brakes in the rear, and you can see this all great finish there they've got going on there too. Let's have a look at the interior. So, the interior is completely new. So, this whole is built ground up. Driving wise, is much more smoother than the previous one. Drives more like an Outlander, if you were to compare. Upgrade the seats as well. Look, people complain about the seats being not that great on the previous version. As you can see, completely new into the now. Very dated looking, the previous one, so it's about time they change this. So, before we get in, I thought I'd just show you the key fob. So, the key fob is exactly like the ones you get in the Outlander. So, here's the key fob you can see. Here, it looks exactly the same as the Mitsubishi Outlander. Also, a lot of stuff they've recycled as well, like all the switches and stuff. They've all taken out the Outlander and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, here's the interior. So, towards the front, I'll just turn it on. There's a Right there, the video will, will play. See, so there's nothing wrong with the camera, cannot it's just the, the speed of the camera. And I think if I just press this again, I think it should boot up. Oh, let me just take it. Whoops. So, when you start, you'll have a video of the Trident that comes out, which is also cool. So here's the gauge clock. You can see over here, if I go a little bit closer, look, a little bit too close. you got a rev counter on the left, temperature gauge on the engine, your fuel gauge, and and your, what you call, and your fuel gauge and your speedometer over there, the two. Warning on level, that's fair enough. All there. So you got the driver monitor display, so how this works is when you're driving, it keeps your, uh, makes sure you're paying attention to the road, so it senses your eyes and stuff like that reminds you just in case so they've got that sort of feature there because you've got your wipe controls to the left so to the left yeah and your indicator and headlight controls to the right you can see the build quality feels pretty nice you also can see you're greeted with a leather wrapped steering wheel if we go a little bit up close you can see this leather wrapped steering wheel also pretty nice and this all black style stitching new design steering wheel matches the design language of the car and all the switch gear and stuff like that they've recycled from the Outlander as well. Same thing with the mirror controls here, you can see they've gone those, they've gone those things too. Um, cup holders, um, this, not being the GSR, but GSR actually has got additional cup holders here which you don't see in this one. But I thought it was actually quite interesting. I'll just open this one, get some fresh air. So you can see the dashboard's um, hard plastics here. have got this soft, soft touch material here storage in here and additional storage there too so if this switch will look like wide you can see it's pretty nice so you can see you got some little storage inside here I could put my drinks there I've got some more here I could put this large bottle there I can fit that one here I just want to check if this one has cooled I'm not too sure there you go so some storage there another one in there too so plenty of storage you're spot for choice so you can easily put large items you can see the build quality is pretty good as well. This one has the same head unit as the Outlander, so if I just turn this one back on again, you can have a look at it. So you got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, menu, audio, and you've got um you got the stand unit, a DAB stuff like that. Pretty clear. Change your source, and you can see all your different a DAB, all that. See. CarPlay and all those sorts of stuff, pretty standard stuff. And you got an, um, navigation on here, but you can just use the easier phone, probably works better anyway. You've got these new sort of air conditioning controls, so you can see it illuminates very nicely. And this one's for your fan speeds, increase like that. You can see the and the little toggles here. Highest temperature appears to be 20, 32 degrees, and the lowest appears to be. Let's see. About 18 degrees. So you got your all your little speeds here. You can see the all the various buttons, mode sync, and that's your off one. You can see the build quality feels pretty nice. So I'll just turn this one off and you can if I go a bit, you can see. The quality feels pretty good. Um getting with the times you can see up close they have now got a USB type C type A port.
you know, lift this up, you got a cigarette, uh, like or a uh, auxiliary port there, rear differential lock, while QI wireless charging, which is also nice, so you can wirelessly charge your smartphone. They've used the same transmission from the Prius Triton on this one, they've carried it over, and the gear selector sort of technology as well, but driving wise, completely different. So, same six speed automatic. You can see, just nice. Gloss black over here, too. Um, some storage in here, which I think I didn't test to see if this one could fit in here. You can sort of see that fits nicely there. And you can close there, too. Uh, a lot of people complained about the seats. Now, this one, the Prius Triton didn't have very good seats. So, you can see they're really updated. This one being GLS, GLS gets you the cloth seats. You can see up close, you got the um, nice sort of uh, cloth. Nice sort of cloth. Gray stitching, I mean, gray stitching here. And you can see this nice sort of pattern there, too. So, a new camera, so I'm not really too used to the controls. And you can see the bolstering feels very good. It feels very supportive here. And they've actually updated the lumbar support, so you don't feel like you're sitting on a bench. So, it's very nice. And I actually feel pretty comfortable here, too. Got a standard vanity mirror here. Got a sunglass holder here. Got another vanity mirror there. And it's all your pre And it's sort of frameless window. Visibility is pretty good. You can see it actually looks pretty good at the top here. Um, blind spots, I just just to have a look. Looks actually pretty good. So you can actually get a good view over here. Like the way the mirror is structured doesn't really obstruct your view too much. And I thought that's pretty nice. See the vents here have finished in a grey. It's all finished. So pretty cool. Let's have a look at the um, rear of the car. I'll put this one over here. We can have a look at the rear seats. Let's jump out of here. All your additional controls here. You can see for you can turn off the auto stop start, um, lane keeping as well. You can turn it off as well. Stuff. Ventilation over there for the air conditioning. This is the recycle and stuff like that. Stop there too. Okay, so here, just like the previous one, you got all hard door cards here, soft touch here. It's imitation of this common fiber material here. And I think someone wanted to ask me another question, which I'll show you in a moment. You can see also all hard plastic here. Soft touch over here. They've done here. And this feels pretty, pretty solid. Someone's asking about the carpets, if they're at all. Um, soft so you got soft carpets there so I, want to start, I thought I'll just add that to the videos and someone was asking about the carpets here if they're soft so you can see that's also soft as well okay so same seats as the front you can see over here you've got the same sort of grey stitching over here and you looks like you've got a armrest in, in the center there so we can actually have a look there So, T, you can fit this one quite snug there. This one can fit that one too. And you got large storage there, you can fit the drinks there too as well. A little bit snug for my feet, you can see I, I'm actually kind of have to sort of force in there. But leg room and everything seems really good, so... But yeah, this is a little bit snug, I'll be honest. But I do feel quite comfortable here. And you can just see the build quality of the doors. It feels pretty solid. Additional handles here. Got um, another port there, another Type C port, uh, another Type C port, and a Type A port there. They've got there too, which I thought was pretty nice. And this is all for the air conditioning recycling, and it's to turn up the speeds for the fan speed and stuff like that, up and down. So I've just put my feet here. Even the middle seat feels very comfortable. You can see I can put my feet here nicely. Well, that's pretty nice. And I'll just show you the dashboard from the rear seat. From here. If you look at the rear, you've got a little blind spot there, but it's not too bad. You've got pretty good visibility here, and you can see 
that's very nice. Pull this here. I'm pretty sure you can pull this handle. Also on that. Anyway, this one. Let's have a look at the engine. So the engine is new. So you got a 2.4 biodiesel engine. So more power. A lot more power in the engine. I think one that comes with a twin turbo setup. Honestly, it all come with that. I'll I'll confirm that with the motion graphics. Hold on one second. See up close. This is a cover turbo there, and you can see the turbo is actually made by Garnet and it's made in Korea. That's pretty cool. So yeah, very nice. Let's so just kind of moved everything all around. All the cool and stuff has moved over here. They look like air boxes now over here on this, over there. And all that sort of stuff. So 10 year warranty on, on all these vehicles and 10 years cap price, which is also pretty cool. Thanks for watching this video. This is my quick walk around on the Mitsubishi Triton GLS. This car is uh, Eastside Mitsubishi. If you are interested to purchase the vehicle, I'll leave the details in the description below. Please check it out. Um, one of the salesmen is Dante. He'll give you a good price and everything like that. I'll leave the details in the description below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next one. Take care.